welcome in one and all. We are Sports Take, Jacob Sports YouTube Network. I am Rob Ellis. That fine looking gentleman is Derek Gunn. What's you didn't say up, fine guys? young man. I gave you a good looking young, uh, good okay. looking man. All right. Uh, oh. We would call it a lot worse than that. Trust me. Well, yeah. But what yes, the heck? As we both have. Uh, what's up, everybody? What's up, Tina? What's up, Chris D? What is up, John Dickerson? What's up, Twiz? Powder. Mood Swing Bella. Eagles fan. Swing Bull. Tyler. What's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well out there. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Spanish Philly, South Jersey. You guys all good, I hope, on this uh, Wednesday. You know what's funny? Uh, John Dickerson, what's up, man? Um, some weeks fly. Yep. Some weeks drag. Yes. I'm yes. in a drag week. Where, where are you at with this week? Are you... Um, are you to me, it's going by pretty fast. Here's what's weird. This is show you. This shows you how domesticated. Wait a minute, M. Reyes, D. Gun is young, like in terms of the earth. I mean, really, really. You guys want to start? Oh, my wife thought that's funny. You guys want to start right now? You ready? You want to go? All right, we can go. No, but anyway, here's how domesticated I am. I gear how quickly my weeks are going by when it's trash day. Yes. See, yes. Every every Tuesday night is trash that he pick up Wednesday morning, unless it's a holiday and it backs up, a you know, Monday holiday. But to me, it's like trash that comes every three days instead of every seven. It's like it's like man, time goes by. Here we are. We're already April, uh, August 9th. We don't have a full month of summer left, Rob. Not even a full month. I'm depressed about this. I said to you yesterday, I, you know, I'm seeing it start to get dark at like. 6 30 and i'm like no 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 wait no. a minute not 6 30 maybe starting like starting not not okay. fully dark but it's it, it, you know it should be like 8 man 8 30 something like that but i yeah. was you know the government has been talking for years about passing the law where they're going to keep daylight saving time year round yeah i wish they could because you know by they say um december 21st is the shortest day of the year and june 21st is the longest Right. You know, in June, June 21st, it's still light out at nine o'clock at night. <laughs> I know. You know, it and then by, by December 3rd, D December 21st, it's dark at like 415. You talk about depressing. Well, I, t I said this to you. So I went to a, a, a wedding and what's up, uh, Fitness Rebel uh, and Mr. Taz and, and everybody else. Uh, Karina. Fitness Rebel, five dollar fine. Yeah. Um, I went to it was in June and I went to a wedding in Indiana, in South Bend, Indiana. All right. And right. right. That is the Eastern time zone, even though Chicago is central. So yeah. I flew into Chicago, drove yep. an hour and a half or whatever it ends up being, which is weird. So you come out of the central into back into the, you know, Eastern standard time. Right. Yep. So I, I'm at a wedding and we're, we're in, in the, you know, have at the reception. I'm like, I mean, I got to go outside. We're in like a barn in the middle of a field. I'm like, I need some air. So I go outside to get some air and it's like quarter of 10 at night and it's still sunny. There you this go. Really weird, man. There I could get go. used to this, but it was really weird. That's why I said when I lived on the West Coast, I loved one o'clock NFL games were 10 a.m. Yeah. 415 game uh games were 115. And the 8 30 game started at 5 30. So by the time the West Coast games ended, you know, you still had some time in the, in the evening to enjoy yourself, whether you wanted to go out or whatever the case may be. Uh -huh. You know, these games ended at 11 30, midnight, you know. Uh, yeah. But isn't isn't the best part too though? Like, yeah, that that's to me that's the best part. Like Sunday night football, Monday night football, Thursday night football, they're done by eight p.m. Yes, you know, on the West Coast, like that's yes. the best part. You're not if you have to get up the next day, you're not dying, you know, from staying up and watching it or whatever the case may be. Exactly, that's, that's the big thing. Is and and if you're like us and you work those games, it it beats working till two a.m. or oh, you know, whatever. Think about how many 8.30 games in primetime Thursday night, Monday night games the Eagles have this year. Tons. Oh, my goodness. Well, if you look at the schedule, speaking of, so right now, uh, I'm doing this off the top of my head. I think they have three 1 o'clock. So you know, they, my wife that the other day, I said, this is this is ridiculous. Only three 1 p.m. games this year. And that, that New Year's Eve game against the Cardinals, even though the Cardinals, I think, are going to stink, it could mean something for the Eagles. So they could flex that, possibly. Bites so your you tongue. Yeah, I know, but you might not even get one there. They have uh -huh. Uh -huh. they have evening games. They have one, two, it was like three, eight. four, possibly five. They have a Thursday night, week two. They yep. have a, a Sunday night, week seven. 
They have a Monday night week 11. They have a Sunday night week 14 and TBD January 7th against the Giants. So yep. you, you, <laughs> and look, that's a byproduct of being a good team. I think, that, I think that Giants game could be flexed more so than the Cardinals game. Mm -hmm. I think that second last week of the season, when you look at the parity across the league, and even in the NFC, which is so mediocre, I mean, there could be a game in the AFC South that could decide that division title, even though I th expect that division to be mediocre. Look about how many matchups there are in the AFC that could def define you're in or you're out or jockeying for first place in the division. I think there's so many games that will supersede the Eagles playing Arizona that game. Let's face it, Arizona's not a big national draw. Mm -hmm. But if you get like the Jets against Buffalo, Kansas City against Denver, something like that, that's what people want to see. I know, they do. And, and look, I get it. Eagles are a draw. You have the runner-up MVP. You were in the Super Bowl. Yep. People beyond Philadelphia want to see this team yep. on a national level. But you, I, look, our, our stance is well documented. Give me the one o'clock any day of the week. Hey, I, I'll take seventeen one o'clock games every same, week. Same here. Uh, but to, but to, uh, to get back to what you were saying about dragging, yeah, I know you're dragging because you 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 pulled a D gun shift last night. Didn't I you? did, man. You texted me at like whatever it was like midnight. I'm like I was like right back on your text because I was on the I air. No, I was yeah. shocked. I know. You were working radio until what, 2 a.m.? Yeah, did after the Phillies' second game until 2 a.m. Yeah, yeah. All good. I, I feel fine. I, I'm you sure? Good. Huh? You, you sure you feel okay? I'm like punch drunk. You know okay. what I mean? I, I feel like, uh, you know, you get in that weird state where you're just like. You know. here's, here's, here's what you need to do to, to come out of it. Some people need an espresso. Yeah, you, I'm not a coffee need, guy. No, okay, so you need to have Cheerios with milk. <laughs> that that'll that'll shake you out of that'll do it. All right, the gold drums you're in right That's now. That's what I'll do next break. I'll, I'll, I'll Cheerios with milk. Yeah. I'll get that now, I don't want to see milk dripping down your shirt or your face. You know, I'll put a bib on. I'll have a bib the rest okay. of the show. Right. That'll look good. Wrap a towel right around your neck. You wrap a towel like I'm getting my hair cut. Put a smock yeah. over. Me. There you um, go. All right, so Eagles practice today, Derek. So this is uh, three days until their next preseason or to the first preseason game. They practiced right. at the link today. A uh, couple couple notes. So Nicobe Dean was back in a limited capacity uh, with the ankle. So he is out there. Uh, so that much, I guess there's some improvement there. We're, we're going to talk about Nicobe in a little bit, um, but he was out there. You're going to love this. So uh, your guy, Derek Barnett. Yes. Got what would have been a personal foul call. So there was a, a little bit of a tussle. The play's over. Apparently he cheap shots Landon Dickerson from behind. Dickerson goes down. <sighs> And then there's the, you know, the, the fights ensue and bodies being held back. I mean, now, is this guy ever going to learn? Is he ever going to learn? Wait now, because John Dickerson says Dickerson blindsided Barnett. Now I yeah, understand that Barnett got ticked off. You know, I don't know, man. I know, I don't know. The retaliation is always worse than the original crime, but yeah, we'll, we'll Look, see. It's preseason. Let him get this stuff out of his system. Now yeah. I believe in Barnett. Who was it last year? Did I not tell you to have patience with Castellanos? You did. That is. Did correct. you not sing his praises in September and October? I did. I'm telling you, have patience with Barnett. I hope you're right. I, I do. Believe, I, I, I hope. I hope. Sure. Listen, I want you to be right on this one. Well, they need somebody to pick up the pass rush. Like they, they need. Yeah, you know, I think it has to be a group effort to, to yes. you know, get the eleven that Hargrave gave you, et cetera. So I hope that he does. I really do. I'll believe it when I see it. I don't have the same kind of faith that you do. I'll give you credit. You have been very, very steadfast in your belief uh, in in Derek Barnett. So we'll see. I like sure. this too. This, this was uh, from Jordan Mailata on Nolan Smith. He called him a mini Hassan Reddick from what he's done so far. That's encouraging. I like that. He wouldn't say anything there if he didn't say good. He wasn't doing anything. See? You know? You know what? I mean, okay, you're pumping up your teammate, but obviously there's some attributes behind that. And like I said, I've said time and time again, if you're making a transition from the college ranks as an edge rusher, who better to learn than from a guy who has 39 and a half sacks in the last three years, who came yeah. off, it was like 16 sacks last year. Who better to learn from all the little tricks of the trade, you know, to get a crash course from somebody like that. Yeah. You know, plus with his own physical attributes that he brings in from Georgia, you know, the combination of the two, obviously, is going to expedite the learning curve um, a lot quicker. How much will he be counted on? Don't know. But obviously, at this state, in case something happens, the, the Reddick, he got injured or something, 
You know, this kid's going to be ready to go. Hopefully he'll be ready. To, now, he's going to make some mistakes. He's going to go sure. through growing pains. Um, but he'll be much further along than if he didn't have somebody like a Reddick, you know, grooming him uh, uh, as his understudy. Yeah, I think it sets up perfectly, really. I mean, you have a guy who's so similar body type wise, you, you know, uh, everything. And I and the Eagles with a year under their belt of how to best utilize Barnett. I mean, I, I really think this is the almost the best. I'm sure he would have liked to have gone higher to get more money, but I don't know that he could have gone to a better team, honestly. No, He's in no. a great spot, Nolan Smith. Oh, heck yeah. You see what you see what Tone just put in the private chat. Who who in Barrett's in Barnett's camp is cutting you a check, D gun? Okay. Rob, would you would you just tell him that I, I subscribe to patience as a virtue? Mm-hmm. And and I've been saying since all off season. Really? My wife goes, Really? She goes, I heard her. <laughs> you know, That's great. You don't think I have patience? Uh, okay, never mind. She's <laughs> Your nose is growing, Derek, as you say it. I, I, I have patience. patience. Sure you do. She, you know if what? Trish says she's you bare, don't. I bare. trust. I trust Trish over you, my friend. I'm you thinking. just you just say that because I've called you on the carpet too many times with Maggie and your correct and, and, and your and your daughter hey, Maddie. Sir, you know what, Derek? Okay. I know. You know. You just this is all your payback. Enjoy your moment in the sun. Exactly. exactly. I have more. I have patience. I don't know what she's talking about. Okay. She's banned from the show, by the way. She's banned. She's done. She, yeah. As of today, she's banned. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> as I say that, in defiance, she's picked up her phone. Yeah, so you better, you better watch this here. Trish, get on the chat. Let's let's cross. Yeah, don't, don't, don't encourage her. I don't, am. Don't, we don't need to know anymore. Full blown encouragement right now. But yes. to go back to what Tone said, again. Yeah. Players that I've said, let's give them pace. Let's give them time. Right. You know, whereas you got people fired all last year, <laughs> I said, I said, patience is a virtue. Look at Dane Kelly, get him, Trish. I mean, really, <laughs> Mr. Taz, D gun about to sleep in the car. It's my car. I can sleep in it if I want to. <laughs> I got room on the couch, man. If you're really in trouble, you know that. <laughs> I'll That's just go funny. back in her office again. That's, That's the point. last place. That's yeah. the last place she wants me to be in her office. I'll go back yeah. to the office. You'll be in the doghouse with the with the rest of the pooches, <laughs> man. That's a year. We know that's where you'll be. Um, all right, so we will get heavy into the birds. We get Greg Murphy joining us too to talk some Phillies. Speaking of the Phillies, they split a doubleheader last night, Derek. They won the first. They should have won the second. Uh, they had a lead late, two run home run to tie it. Then a solo shot by the same guy, Joey Manessis. Yep. Uh, and they end up winning the game. Uh, it w- was eminently winnable game. It's it, it was it's a bummer because you take those first two. It's just such a you know, statement uh, heading yeah, into yeah. the last two games of the series. So that, that is a, that's a real bummer. Now they take the next two, they win the series. It ultimately is what you're looking to do. That's the accomplishment. But uh, it was a, uh, there's some really good signs though. Like Harper with a, another home run. Uh, Turner played well again last night. Oh, oh, Trish is on now. Good. All He's right. patient with children. He's sent- not with adults yeah. though, Trish. Not she, with claims, adults. she claims I have no patience with her. Yes. That's what she claims. I, I I believe her. Yes. No, it's not. It's not all. Uh, she finds that he, just hilarious. She's already just giggling like a kid. That's not always true. She yes. gives me like twenty different tasks and two minutes to do. You know, you're good with children know. and dogs. That, that, I've always told you. I, I love humans are, are a different story. What have I? To, what have I always told? You? I love Rob. Oh my Thank goodness, you, this is getting deep. Right, right back at you. I love Trish too. Oh my goodness, yes. this is sickening. That's that's correct. Yes, what? we're teaming up against you today. All I know right? you, you had to bring it up on the screen too, didn't you? Correct. You just had, I might. Look. You know what? I'm going to bring it up there again. Maybe I'll you just keep what? it up the whole show. Yeah, see, that ain't right. You ain't <laughs> right, dude. You see, what have I always told you though? I love kids. It's adults I have problems with in general. Yes, human beings in general. I know. Well, I agree with you. Yeah. Well, I don't want about human beings. Just, just well, you know. Just no, just adults. Okay. Adults rub me the wrong way. I hear you. I well, we so. saw your beautiful grandson in the pre-show meeting. He, he was, yeah. he was, he was cuddled up on you, which was oh, a, it was a great you. sight. That's, that's my boy right there. There oh, you go. Goodness. That's awesome. All right, Eagles question of the day. This is a fun yes. one. This yes. is a Derek Gunn authored question, and I like this one. So I want everybody in the chat to jump in. All right. So here's the question. Name. We could go five Eagles. Let's go five Eagles that yep. you'd like to see play out of position. Meaning, obviously, so and so is a left tackle. What else could he do? So, are you since it was your idea, Derek, because I have one, I can't wait to give you. Give me your the first one you'd like to see. First guy you'd like to see play somewhere else. So you think well, you could actually pull it off? 
I have, I have uh, Jordan Mylotta in dual roles. Yes. First of all, yeah, thank you, Chuck. Free Derek Gunn. That's right. No, thank Chuck. You, Chuck. No. Thank you, Chuck. Yes. Somebody's on my side. Thank you. And Mr. Taz, Rob really doing D Gun dirty. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Taz. <laughs> He's always he's always trying to get me. I Church never and I are teaming up on you today. What is all of a sudden? Hey, Twiz, like she knows who Twiz is. I mean, seriously, <laughs> what's, what's going on here? Is uh, this bizarro day? Trish, Trish is on fire today. You're in trouble, man. What's going in on trouble. here? Yes, my goodness. But anyway, yeah. I have Jordan Malata in a dual role. Right. First of all, I would love to see Jordan Malata as a fullback inside the five yard line. That would be fun with yeah. this rugby background. Mm -hmm. See, if I'm a safety or a DB. And it's between and, and I'm standing between Jordan Malata and the goal line. Yeah. I gotta make a business decision. Same here. Yep. Do I want to be sipping soup through a straw for the next six weeks? Or do I do the, the matador Olay tackle and just I'll make a gallon effort, buddy? Hey, man, That's what I would do. You line. know what I would do? I would dive like at his feet far enough away that I know there's no way I'm touching his feet, but it looks like I made sort of an effort. There's no chance I'm trying to take that that freight train on. No, no chance. Six, eight, no, 3 50? No. no. no now, no. here's what I would do. I would take an angle, and I would try to take him, like, below the waist. Like, chop like yeah, between chop the hips him. and the knees yeah. and knock him off balance. And hopefully I can knock him into somebody else that can finish him off. But, <laughs> look, man, I'm not trying to collect on medical expenses that early in my life. No, thank you. And I would also like to see Malata play an edge rusher. Oh, that would be interesting. Can you yeah. imagine if six eight off the edge? He doesn't even have to get to the quarterback. Just throw your hands up. Yeah. You are not throwing through his lane. There's I no can, way. I would like to – that's you know, I thought you were just going to go running back, but I would like to see him on the edge too. That Can you imagine great. an arc a quarterback would have to put on a ball, and by the time you float that pass, you got a safety, a corner, a D, and it can come over there and swipe it? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, my goodness. You I, like, I, I like where Mr. Taz is going. Here, Here's what I would like to see. So he has yeah. lane at middle linebacker. I'm going lane at a different spot. Okay. For one play, Derek, we're going to go old school on Lane Johnson back to his quarterback days. Oh. He grew into being a behemoth. I just want to see the arm. I want to see him throw like an out route or something down. Okay. That's what I want to see one time with Lane Johnson. Just give him a, give him a little bit of time. I don't want him, you know, I want him to, have to be able to set and throw, and I want to see how good the arm is. So that's that's Ooh. one I want to see. Lane okay. with a deep shot down the field to Quez or – Somebody, you know, Devontae who can run. All right. That's okay. what I would I would like to see that. That would be cool. Uh, I, I like that. Yeah. I like that. And he would I think he would be like, all right, old school here. You guys are gonna see what I had, the footwork and whatnot before uh so that's what he in junior college, he got so big that they they moved him to tight end. Tight end, yep. And then when he got to Oklahoma, they're like, You're an offensive lineman, dude. Well, like, initially but, he was a tight end in Oklahoma, then they converted. Yeah. But yeah. but his high school, he was a quarterback. People don't think we make that stuff up or not. But that yeah. would be pretty cool to see. Uh, all right, who else? Who else would you like to see? I would love to see Jordan Davis as, as an offensive guard. Mm. <laughs> Can you imagine this dude, 6'5", 340, coming yeah. off the ball? I don't know what kind of pass blocker he would be, but a straight-ahead road grader? Yeah, run game, he would be interesting. Even if he didn't have the proper technique, just getting in somebody's path – can you imagine that man? That's like a car road running over lizards on a highway, man. Can you imagine that? That would be pretty good. I, you know, all right. I think Tina might have won the day. Let's see. What did she say? Let's put Aaron Sippos in the slot across the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tina. Yes, in, Tina in and this, I are on career? the same page. Thank you, Tina. And what in this career? Uh, I'm just saying whatever happens, happens. I'll just leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe maybe it's a high pass that he has to go up for. <laughs> As we call them, hospital balls. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. But yes. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I got another one for you. All right. AJ Brown, outside linebacker. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or safety. Six one two twenty five. Yeah. Like or a heat seeking safety. missile on yes. a play. Yeah. We, we got with that tank. The way that with he's this built. Speed? Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. I love seeing him coming coming through a gap with that yeah. kind of speed. Yeah, there's not many quarterbacks that are gonna outrun him. Or try no, to that, that's him. good. I, that's I want to see him like in space. Yeah, come up and just just drill. That that would be pretty cool. That From the safety cool. spot, imagine, yeah. imagine him catching Sippos under the chin. <laughs> Stop! You're getting me too excited here. Yeah. I bet uh, all right. Here's the other. This is. I guess this is the obvious one. But I want to see like Jalen Hurts catch. You know, like a like a. A pass in space, whether it's something you know, like a swing pass out of the backfield or or whatever, I want to see him just catch it, have maybe one corner or safety on him, 
the juke and then oh, yeah. gone. That, yeah. You know, rather than just trying to get away from these big behemoths, I want to see him in the, in open space be able to just put a move on somebody, Jay. And then try to cool. see, and then try to see a DB arm tackle him. I, mean, oh, I think yeah. so many people underestimate, <coughs> excuse me, his lower body strength. Yeah, I think he would shock a lot of people if they try to arm tackle him one on one. Oh, I would love. Yeah, that's a good one. I love think it. about think about to your point. Think about the two point conversion he gets in the Super Bowl. There's two guys on him. He looked like he had no prayer at getting in the end zone there, and that yeah. was like just the lower core strength that that guy has, just just to be able to get in. I mean, he yeah. is strong. Oh, is he strong? I got one. Now I got one that's going to shock you. All right. Quez Watkins at safety. Uh, all right, tell me where you're going there. Okay. All right, I want to see Quez play single high safety. What's the, what's the job of a single high safety? You've got to play center field, right? Yeah. With his speed, whether he's got to cover ground this way or this, this way, with his speed, that dude can make up a lot of ground. Now, he might not be able to catch the football, but he might be able to bat it away. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean, yeah, but if he could read the field and have that closing speed sideline yeah. to sideline, yeah. that yes. might be kind of interesting. He runs yeah. a 4-2, four, 4-3. Four, There's yeah. not many safety. Even your Hall of Fame safeties, there's not many that run 4-2, four, 4-3. Four, I Outside like of Ed Reed, I can't think. Even Troy Palomaro wasn't that fast. He was just instinctive. Brian yeah. Dawkins wasn't that fast. Brian Dawkins was instinctive and a hard hitter. You know, you put Quez back there with that kind of speed. Yeah. I don't want him to catch the ball. I mean, he has enough trouble catching the ball now. I just want him to knock the ball just away. knock it down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that position, you're good with that. Yeah. No, I, yeah. Okay. All right. That's interesting. Uh, I, I like this one from Dank. He wants to see Devontae at corner. That would be Ooh. pretty cool. Devontae Ooh. on an island with another guy who can run and see, you know, if he can stay with him and, and cover him down the field. That might be pretty cool. I think with uh, all of these guys with these deceptive first moves and cut back the other way, like a Devontae Adams, yeah. I would think he would be able – it's like watching a cheetah chase a gazelle. You see how many different <laughs> ways a cheetah goes? I mean, a gazelle goes, and yeah. a cheetah can cut on a dime with it. Yeah. I think a Devontae Smith has that ability to cut on a dime. And even if he gets beat, that makeup speed uh, will cover a lot of – hey, look, Deion Sanders did it. Deion no. Sanders couldn't tackle you or me. He's in the Hall of Fame. Well, you know? Deion might come up later in the show today. He just might. Good good, good foreshadowing there, Deion. Really? Yes, sir. No, he I might come know. up later. Um, all right, last one from me. I want to see I want to see Marcus Mariota either as like a running back or receiver or tight end. I mean, Ooh. the dude has the wheels. I, about, I, wanted, I just about, like to see what that would sweep. Like. How about a jet sweep? Jet sweep, yes. I would like to see what that would look like to me, or like Ooh. maybe him in the slot, uh, just a quick out or a quick, you know, quick hitter, maybe a slant or something like that, using that speed and those moves and that ability to, to make people miss. I think yeah. that's pretty fun to watch. You know what? That's a good point. I would love to see that. I got one more for you. And and right. uh uh Dank Green, Dank Kelly stole it from me. Okay. But I have it on my list here. I would love to see Darius Slay at wide receiver. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's been screaming about getting the ball in practices. He wants and coach, put me in, coach. Yeah. He, I would love to see him um uh, on, on a on a deep post route or, mm -hmm. or curl in or something like that. I think he has the hands to do it. Yeah, I think that would be uh that would be fun. I would like to just see the D-backs for a minute because they they most D-backs think they could play receiver. They yeah. they they have that just yeah. innate thought. They probably did when they were in high school and, and whatnot. Yeah, give it a shot. I would like to see what that would look like. Yeah. What's, what's that old saying about cornerbacks in the NFL? There's a reason why you're playing cornerback and not wide receiver. Correct. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Two, one word, hands. Yes, exactly. But, but I uh, think I think Darius Slate, he would remind me of like a Darius Slayton uh, of yeah. the Giants or somebody like that. Mm -hmm. You know, hit him on a quick slam. Put him in a slot. You know, yeah. I'd love to see him in a slot. He has the mental toughness to play the slot, and I think he has the hands as well. Plus, I think he has enough quickness to get the yak. I, look, I think other than quarterback, which is the heart, in my opinion, the hardest position maybe in sports. But if you take quarterback out, because there's just so many things that you have to account for. I think defensive back in the NFL with the way they've hamstrung these guys, yeah. penalties, you can't, yeah. you can't even breathe on a guy. I think it's a, the second hardest position behind quarterback. I, I would agree. You're on an island a lot against yeah. incredible yeah. athletes and you can barely do anything. No. It's that's a hard spot, man. You to, can't to clutch and grab. Yeah, you, you know you can't. No more headshots. 
Um, yeah, you're right. And that's why a lot of down the field you get penalized yeah. for. It's yeah. crazy. Even if it's hand fight, let's say both guys are hand fighting. It almost always goes to the defensive player rather than the yep. offensive player. Hey, look at the Super Bowl. Look at what happened in the Super Bowl. Yeah. That was the defining moment of the whole game. They pass interference call on a yeah. ball that was uncatchable. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. You know, they got uh, the Patrick Mahomes call. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. All right, let's come back. We're going to hit a couple things with the Eagles segment coming back next. One, we're going to revisit Hassan Reddick's contract and sort of do a comparison to some of his peers uh, around the league. And we'll get a little bit more into the linebacking situation and just what's going on there with new bodies coming in. Are there going to be more bodies added? What exactly is happening there? So we'll we'll do sort of a two-pronged attack. And, and uh, news on Mariota in terms of how he's playing. So we'll give you a little update on that as well so don't go anywhere that's Derek Gunn I am Rob Ellis hanging with you on this Wednesday let's talk about Bravo Pizza you hungry right now I know I am a little Bravo Pizza of Havertown could hit the spot uh I've been going there since I was a kid they've been family owned since 1985 uh so many options that's what I love they have 20 different styles of pizza they have slices to go they have specialized pizza your way however you want it but if you're not up for pizza fresh pasta sandwiches wraps wings they really have everything. Um, every box is checked there. Bravo Pizza is also committed to the community. They have fundraisers for charities, schools, little leagues, where the proceeds go to those organizations. You can follow them on Instagram and Facebook at the Bravo Pizza of Havertown for specials and promotions. They're at 1305 Westchester Pike Manoa Shopping Center in Havertown. That's 1305 Westchester Pike Manoa Shopping Center, Havertown. Give them a call, 610 446 610 446 3810. 